Are your arteries in need of a vitamin boost? Calcium plaque in the arteries can raise your risk of heart issues, but vitamins can help keep your arteries clear and your heart strong. In this video, we'll reveal the five best vitamins to stop calcium plaque in your arteries and heart. These vitamins can boost your circulation and support your arteries, and each one has unique components that can help your heart. So, if you want to know how to use vitamins to protect your heart, keep watching as we break it all down. Let's get started. At number five on our list is vitamin K2. This amazing nutrient acts like a director, telling calcium where to go and where to stay away from. Think of calcium as building blocks for your body. You want these blocks to go to the right places, like your bones and teeth. But sometimes calcium can end up where it shouldn't, like in your arteries. That's where vitamin K2 comes in. It activates special proteins in your body. These proteins are like tiny workers that grab calcium and take it where it needs to go. When K2 is around, these proteins work better. Arteries should be clear so blood can flow easily. But sometimes, calcium can build up in these pipes, making them stiff and narrow. This is called arterial calcification, and it's not good for your heart. K2 helps prevent this by keeping calcium out of your arteries. A study from the journal Integrative Medicine found that people who eat more foods with K2 have healthier arteries. Their arteries are more flexible and have less calcium buildup. This means blood can flow better, which is great for your heart. Vitamin K2 can be found in eggs, especially the yolks. Fermented foods like sauerkraut and yogurt are also good sources. But here's something interesting. K2 has a partner that helps it do its job even better. Together, they make an even stronger team for keeping your arteries healthy. Next on our countdown at number four is vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 is a perfect partner for K2 in the fight against arterial plaque. You might already know vitamin D3 as the sunshine vitamin because your body makes it when your skin is exposed to sunlight. But there's so much more to this nutrient than just helping your bones stay strong. It helps your immune system, keeps your muscles strong, and even affects your mood. Now let's talk about how vitamin D3 and K2 work together. Well, vitamin D3 helps your body absorb calcium from the food you eat. But if you have too much calcium in your blood, it can end up in your arteries. That's where K2 comes in, directing the calcium to your bones where it belongs. Moreover, it helps calm down inflammation in your arteries. Inflammation can damage your blood vessels if it goes on for too long. Studies found that vitamin D3 can make your arteries stay flexible and relaxed, which is important for good blood flow. This means your heart doesn't have to work as hard to pump blood through them. Maintaining good blood flow can help keep your blood pressure at a healthy level. Additionally, vitamin D3 also helps your body use insulin better, which is important for controlling your blood sugar. So, how can you make sure you're getting enough vitamin D3? Spending some time in the sun is one way but be careful not to get too much sun exposure. You can also eat foods that are rich in vitamin D3, like fatty fish, such as salmon or sardines, egg yolks, and some mushrooms. Some people might need to take vitamin D3 supplements, especially if they don't get much sun or if their doctor finds their levels are low. But always talk to your doctor before starting any new supplement. They can help you figure out the right amount for you. At number three, we have vitamin C. Vitamin C is a nutrient you've probably heard of before, but did you know it's not just good for fighting colds? Experts call vitamin C an antioxidant. They act as tiny defenders in your body protecting your cells from harm. Here's why your arteries need protection. Inside your body, there's something called oxidative stress. It's like rust forming on metal, but it happens inside you. This rust can damage your arteries and lead to plaque buildup. Plaque can make your arteries narrow and stiff. This is bad news for your heart because it has to work harder to pump blood through these narrowed passages. Vitamin C fights against this oxidative stress, helping to keep your arteries clean and clear. Additionally, it also helps lower LDL cholesterol levels. LDL is often called bad cholesterol because too much of it can lead to heart problems. Vitamin C works to stop LDL from turning into something even worse it's like vitamin C is a guard, 
keeping the LDL from causing trouble in your arteries. A study in the journal Nutrients found that increased vitamin C intake might help lower the risk of heart disease. Here's another cool thing about vitamin C. It helps your body make collagen. Collagen is super important for your blood vessels because it keeps them strong and flexible. So how much vitamin C do you need? Doctors say men should aim for about 90 milligrams a day, while women need about 75 milligrams. Include vitamin C in your daily routine by eating citrus fruits like oranges, lemons, and grapefruits. If you're not a big fruit fan, you can still get your vitamin C fix from veggies. Bell peppers and broccoli are great choices. Vitamin C pills can be helpful too, but it's always best to talk to your doctor first. This is especially important if you're taking any heart medicines. Some medicines, like those that help prevent blood clots, might not mix well with large amounts of vitamin C. Sliding into number two is vitamin E. Vitamin E is all about guarding the fatty areas. This makes it super important for keeping your arteries healthy. Let's talk about what vitamin E does. It's what experts call a fat-soluble antioxidant. That means it can mix with fats in your body and protect them from damage. But why do we need to protect the fatty parts of our cells? Well, this is to prevent lipid peroxidation from happening in our bodies. It's the process of how the fats in our body can go bad. When this happens in our arteries, it can lead to plaque buildup. Vitamin E helps stop fats from going bad in the first place, which means less chance of plaque forming in your arteries. But vitamin E doesn't work alone. It's part of a team of vitamins that all work together to keep your arteries healthy. Vitamin E works best with vitamin C. They help each other out, making both of them even better at protecting your body. Vitamin E can be found in nuts like almonds, leafy green veggies like spinach and avocados. The amount of vitamin E you need each day is about 15 milligrams. You can easily get it from eating a balanced diet with plenty of nuts, seeds, and veggies. Here's something important to remember. While vitamin E is great for your arteries, more isn't always better. Taking too much vitamin E, especially from supplements, can sometimes cause problems. That's why it's best to get your vitamin E from food. Your body knows how to handle the vitamin E in food much better than the kind in pills. Last but not least at number one, we have B vitamins. Vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and vitamin B9 work together like a well-oiled machine. While they each have their special jobs in your body, when it comes to your arteries, they team up to tackle a big problem. In your blood, there is a substance called homocysteine. It's a type of amino acid that your body makes when it breaks down protein. While a little bit of homocysteine is normal, too much can spell trouble for your arteries. High levels of homocysteine can hurt the walls of your blood vessels, making them rough and damaged. This damage can lead to plaque buildup, which is bad news for your heart. B vitamins work together to keep homocysteine levels in check. When there's too much homocysteine, these B vitamins help turn it into other helpful substances. This process is called methylation, but you can think of it as a cleanup operation. By reducing homocysteine, B vitamins help keep your arteries smooth and healthy. In one study, people who had high homocysteine levels took B vitamin supplements. After a while, their homocysteine levels went down a lot. This is great news because lower homocysteine levels might mean a lower risk of heart problems. Moreover, B vitamins help your body make red blood cells, which carry oxygen all around your body. They also help your body turn food into energy, which is super important for keeping your heart pumping strong. Now, you might be wondering how much of these B vitamins you need. Well, for most adults, doctors recommend about 1.3 milligrams of B6, 2.4 micrograms of B12, and 400 micrograms of B9 every day. But where can you find these B vitamins? Vitamin B6 is in foods like chicken, fish, and potatoes. Vitamin B12 is mostly in animal products like meat, fish, and dairy. If you don't eat animal products, you might need to take a B12 supplement or eat foods that have B12 added to them. B9 is found in leafy green veggies, beans, and nuts. While getting B vitamins from food is great, some people might need to take supplements. This is especially true for older adults 
who sometimes have trouble absorbing B12 from food. But here's an important tip. Always talk to your doctor before starting any new supplements. Taking too much of some B vitamins can cause problems. Too much B6 can hurt your nerves, and too much niacin, another B vitamin, can make your skin flush and feel itchy. And there you have it, the five best vitamins to stop calcium plaque in your arteries and heart. Vitamin K2, vitamin D3, vitamin C, vitamin E, and B vitamins. We've learned a lot about keeping our arteries healthy. Your body is amazing and can heal itself with the right care. Remember, vitamins are great helpers, but they work best when you live a healthy life too. Eating good foods, exercising, and finding ways to relax are all important. Every small step you take makes a difference. Why not start today? Maybe add some colorful veggies to your next meal or go for a short walk. With what you know now, you can make choices that keep your arteries clean and your heart happy. Did any of these vitamins surprise you? Have you tried any of these for heart health? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest health tips. And if this video has been valuable to you, consider sending us a super thanks. It's a wonderful way to support our channel and help us continue making informative content. Thanks for watching, and here's to a stronger, healthier heart.